As the saying goes, there are many ways of killing a rat. So, in today's video, I'm presenting to you method 2 of lighting a briquette stove using already hot charcoal. This method is sometimes called the smoke-free method, which is the safest for our health. And on this note, guys, remember that your health is your family's future. This is the first video of my mother. It's called Jenny Anakai. A property is the money. You start by placing the bigger briquettes on the sides and at the bottom of the stove. Leave the middle part of the briquette stove center. And then get some hot charcoal from any source of your choice and place it in the center or middle part of the stove. And for my case, I'm getting the hot charcoal from my firewood stove, which we call a choto in Uganda, which is my mother tongue. Near two, or concentrate the smaller or broken briquette pieces on the hot charcoal or fire or flame so that they can easily catch fire and spread it to the neighboring bigger briquettes. Okay. Add more briquettes or briquette pieces up to the stove top and wait for about 10 minutes. At the elapse of 10 minutes, it is assumed that the briquette stove will be 85% lit and ready for use or cooking. The advantage of using already hot charcoal to light a briquette stove contrary to method 1, which involved using plastic or polythene bag, is that it produces no smoke at the start of the lighting process. Guys, keep watching this video up to the end so that you can see the end product after lighting a briquette stove using already hot charcoal. And if you have not yet watched the previous videos, please do so. Go back and watch those videos. They have a lot of good content to learn from. Okay, guys. Thank you for your time. Check it out. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.